In this video we're going to have a look at how to add a bolt and nut to a drawing where we've got to connect two metal plates. We of course need to know where that bolt needs to be placed and we've got a center line there indicating where and I'm going to start by drawing the head of my bolt at the top here and the nut will fasten the bolt to these two metal plates coming up from the bottom. Now your starting point has got to be the center point of where your bolt and nut is meant to lie and of course we've got the center line over here so what you'll start with is you're going to draw a construction line going up from that center line and then you are going to draw the top view of your bolt and nut first so you'll start with your circle that you would have needed to be able to draw the hexagon for your top view so that's the first thing that I'm going to go and draw and you'll see that I've used that center line to go and place my compass. So I've placed my compass on that center line and I start off with that circle. Once I've drawn that circle I can then go and construct my hexagon around it and then of course use that to go and project down to go and draw the head of my bolt. Now I'm going to finish, finish off doing this and then we'll have a look at how to then go and place our nut and finish off our thread. Okay, now you can see that I've finished my top view. Be careful not to draw it too close to where your front view of your bolt head is meant to go in. You'll see that mine's a bit too close. So make sure that you give a bit of a bigger space over here. But we've used that center line now. Okay, we projected up that center line. We got this, we took our compass, we placed it on that center line. And we drew the circle, we've drawn our hexagon, and we've projected the corners of the hexagon down to then go and get the front view of the head of our bolt. We used our 0.7 times our M value to get the height of our bolt over there. And now I'm going to go and draw in my bolt head. And you'll see here, of course, the bolt head has got to sit on this metal plate. Okay, the bottom part of that bolt head would sit on, on that metal plate the same way as if you're putting this bolt and sliding it onto this metal plate to keep it in place. So we're going to go and finish off the top of our metal bolt. And then we'll have a look at the nut down the bottom over here. Okay, we're done with the head of the bolt. And now, as you know, we measure the length of our bolt from the top end of our bolt there down to the bottom end of our bolt. And for this bolt, I'm going to make the length of the bolt a total of 100 millimeters so I'm going to measure my bolt length down 100 millimeters and then I'm going to mark off where that would be okay just check that again okay you see I'm measuring from the top of the head of the bolt down to the line that I've marked off over there Okay, for the length of my bolt and then I'm going to go and draw in my bolt shaft but I'm going to do that in construction because because of the fact that I still need to go and add in the nut now I'm using an M26 so the width of my bolt is my bolt shaft is going to be 26 millimeters wide so I'm just going to go and draw that in quickly so that I know that I've got that in and then I'm going to go and draw in the nut now of course your nut would have to be screwed onto your bolt all the way until it hits into the edge of that metal plate over there there's no point in the nut sitting up here somewhere because then it isn't holding these two metal plates together. The whole point of a bolt and nut is to hold something together, to fasten it together. So we have to take the nut and we have to put it so that the one end of the nut touches 
this metal plate over here and then we draw the rest of the nut going downwards so for the height of our nut okay i'm going to go and measure the height of my nut from the edge of that plate outwards to there and i'm going to make draw a construction line there that is now the height of my nut from that line there to the end of that plate over there and then i'm going to go in and construct that nut okay there's the nut now just to recap we have taken the distance from the top of our bolt and we measured down to the end over here that was the length of our bolt or our bolt length and then we have gone and drawn in the nut over here so that it touched the very edge of our metal plate here the height of our nut we measured from that line down here okay so to make sure that we got the height of the nut in the correct place and now you can see that the bolt head over here holds the one side of the metal plate and the nut of course holds the other side of our metal plate now you can clearly see here that of course there's a decently large piece of our bolt that sticks out over here and we're going to have to go and draw that in still we can't leave it out and we're going to draw the thread that you would see also on the end of this bolt we're not going to draw anything in the middle over here because we are drawing this as if you can't see into this metal plate okay so you're not going to see this part of the shaft of our bolt at all we're just going to draw the part of the shaft that comes out on the other end over here okay now we've gone and drawn in the last part of our shaft so that's the piece of the shaft that now sticks out from after you've put on the nut and remember that you can't just go and draw the end part of the shaft okay those two lines there in line with these lines over here because they won't be in line with each other you have to go and measure from the center line the correct size for the m value outwards remember that the width of your shaft is your m value so i used an m26 here so the distance from this side of my shaft to that side of my shaft was 26 millimeters and then remember you can't just guess this size over here for your thread on either side that's meant to be 0.1 times your m value so for me it was two and a half millimeters that i had to measure inwards one from there and one from there and then of course the same distance up over here another two and a half millimeters up for that thread and then you go and draw in those lines and then remember that these angles over here are meant to be 45 degree angles to finish off the end of your thread i'm just going to repeat and make sure that you do not try and line up the edge of your bolt okay the shaft of your bolt with these lines over here they shouldn't line up with each other once you've done that now you have your bolt correctly put in place holding these two metal plates together